This video is sponsored by Victorinox, makers of the iconic Swiss Army knife. More on them later. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is all about getting things done. Oh my God. Like, do you ever have those home projects that just seem to compound on top of each other and then you just keep adding to it but then never actually removing items off of that list? I had a very similar problem back when I was tackling my kitchen organization a while back. That's where I'm at again. But instead, it's kind of just like things all over my house. But because these things were like more DIY and decor focused, I actually kind of thought it would be really fun to share it with all of you. And maybe if I get my list done, it might encourage you to knock off some of your to-do lists as well. Or maybe it'll simply inspire you to add more things to your to-do list. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. I am also excited because this video is sponsored by Victorinox, the makers of the iconic Swiss Army knife. I mean, I feel like there's literally not a person in this world that doesn't know what a Swiss Army knife is. Like, it's just, it's so fun. And I have such a personal connection to Swiss Army knives that I will explain after. So I figured if we are DIYing around the home, how often can I actually use a Swiss Army knife to help me get my jobs done? And like, don't worry, I'm not gonna like force use it. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. But, you know, honestly, how often can I use something like this that will help me get my job done? Is it actually useful for a DIYer like me? We're gonna find out. Either way, I have a lot of cool projects to share with you, a lot of cool things to show you. So let's get into this video. Editor, roll the tape. All right, DIY friends, so before we get started, let me show you the two Swiss Army knives that I'm going to be using to help, you know, complete my DIY bucket list for the week. First off, as you can see, these both have that like iconic cross and shield emblem. An emblem of true Swiss craftsmanship. Actually, fun fact, the first original Swiss Army knife was made in 1897, just in case you needed that in your back pocket next time you're doing Trivial Pursuit Night. <laughs> you're welcome. All right, so this one is called the Camper, and it's what I think is probably the closest to how I remember the classic Swiss Army knife. This knife has a reamer, punch, a sewing awl, a large blade, toothpick, small blade, tweezers, corkscrew, very important, <laughs> key ring, can opener, three millimeter and a six millimeter screwdriver, wood saw, bottle opener, and a wire stripper. That one I didn't know about. And then I also have the Huntsman, I love the name, giving me some serious Chris Hemworth vibes. The only thing more beautiful than your smile is your personality. Yeah? But it's kind of cool because this version of the Swiss Army Knife launched in 1905, but it's super popular because of the addition of the scissors, and this one has a multi-purpose hook. So they're basically the same other than the scissors and the hook, but they're both equally useful. It's funny because I have such a weird connection to these pocket knives. So my grandfather, he's 87 years old, and in all of my life, I have never seen him go a day without carrying a Swiss Army knife on his, on his belt loop. And I swear to God, he carries this on him still to this day, and I even have proof. The trusty knife! <laughs> Yay! Yay. And then after a few years, after like Jeff and I were dating for a while and we were really serious and everyone was like, oh, okay, these guys are gonna be serious. Um, it was Christmas and my grandfather gifted Jeffrey his own pocket knife. He even had his name engraved into the blade. I don't know, and I've just felt like this was like a rite of passage for my grandfather gifting this to Jeffrey. Like, yes, I understand that you're gonna take care of my granddaughter kind of thing. And like, that was just like his way of saying, you're, I, I'm, I like you. <laughs> so I don't know, I know this sounds kind of poetic, but I feel like this video feels like a love letter to my grandfather in a weird way. Um, and I kind of love that. So this one's for you, grandpa. But if anyone is interested in gifting one of these to a family or friend, or just having one of their own as a trusty companion through life's adventures, I have linked these in my description box so you can go check them out. 
Woo! All right, sentimental story time is over. <laughs> Getting teary here.、Um, let's get on to the first DIY project, shall we? Woohoo! I just love that you match my living room. Did you know that you were going to match all of my aesthetic? Did you know that you were my aesthetic dog? <laughs> yeah, you're such a good boy. I know. So there are actually a few projects that we're going to do in here today, but the first one is super easy. I've had this for such a long time because I ordered it online, and I have been just dying to open this box and like look at them and and install them. I just haven't. It's been like weeks. I swear to God, weeks. So let's open it up, and I will show you what it is. <laughs> Okay, so we have three boxes in front of us. So I recently did a order with Anthropology. I was looking for some new hardware for my living room. So let me show you what I ordered. You guys are gonna love this. Well, I hope you do. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much better than I hoped for. Oh, <gasps> oh, you are so pretty. Oh my god. Okay. And you're probably wondering, what is this, Danny? Well, it's actually a curtain tie back. So there's two holes here, and you put this on the wall, and then basically the curtain comes over top of this, and then this guy is just kind of like peeping out. How beautiful is this? I love it. Do you love it? Do you like it, pup pup? Do you like my swan bird? What is this? A swan? Oh no! Not another bird thing. <laughs> I think it's a swan. Bird? I don't know. You guys comment down below. What kind of bird do you think this is? Let me just use my handy dandy Swiss Army knife to open this up. It really is easier. Oh, it's the same, Papa. Duh. So this last one. Let's open it up. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Okay. Is this not? The cutest thing you've ever seen. I saw this and I just died. Like it's a hook, but the little hand and it's holding a flower. I mean, that's just absolutely adorable. This is so much better than I actually thought it was going to be. Are you my handsome bachelor? I give you my rose. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> so I want to find a place to hang this up. First and foremost, I think it's going to look absolutely adorable somewhere in this living room, and I really want to put this up so that we can tie back the curtain rod. But there's also something else I want to do with this curtain rod that's been driving me nuts, and I wanted to do this for like close to actually since this living room's been done. That's how long. So let me show you. Okay, so when I put this up, I put it just on top of the window, but I have just wanted to raise it up just a teeny tiny little bit. I just wanted. I will do everything and anything in this room to make these ceilings feel taller because this is such a low. Ceiling house.、Um, it's the inevitable, but I am going to do everything I possibly can to give the illusion that these walls are higher than they are or higher than they could be. So by just like raising this little bar up just a little bit, almost just to the line of the joist here, I think it's going to add a little something. So for the first project, I want to move that curtain rod up and I want to install that swan tie back, and I think it's going to be so beautiful. So let's go do it. What my heart was in for, till you stepped into the room, and I didn't show, but I wanted to know everything I could about you. See, I was told the dreams were made to be believed in, so I put every single dream in you. But you set the bar so high above the sky, and you nailed it to the floor. 'Cause for some odd reason, I don't believe in in this one thing I adore. What is love? Like a bird. 
Okay, how cute does that look? <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I think I'm only gonna keep the one. I really only care to keep this curtain open. And the reason is because when I sit on the couch, I look out the window. I love being able to see the greenhouse just in its full glory. So that's such a beautiful thing. I ended up putting it too far out and then I stood back and I was like, this isn't right. So I ended up pushing it in a little bit, which I like a lot more. So you'll see some patches there that I got to sand and then paint over and I did the same up there. I love that this is raised. I know it's so small, but it makes such a big difference having this like way up higher. I also really love this little hardware piece. I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it. Like this is kind of where I had the idea of putting it at this back door because when I did this giant cabinet install, I lost the peg rack that was originally there. And then, you know, Kenobi would go outside. We needed a towel for him and I didn't have a hook, but this was so cute. So I figured like, what a cute little thing to keep at the back door. But then I got thinking, I really wanna buy more of these because I want to put these in the greenhouse. I think this would be so cute having like a little one, like a whole wall of them. You know what I mean? What do you think? Okay, so I've been trying to replace this light for some time now. Do I think that this is the one? I don't know. I don't think so. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? You used to be cute. <laughs> I'd hate you. And I've just been looking for a replacement for so long. So I actually picked this up weeks ago when I went to Home Depot and then it sat on my floor for weeks. Are you catching the, the, the theme of this episode? Danny buys things, puts it on the side, and then we never come back to them. <laughs> so I thought, all right, well, let's open this up. I gotta say, this tool has been very handy for opening boxes this episode. Woof. She very gold. But at least it can bend in a way that like it stays pretty flush to the wall. But that's pretty cute. Oh, and then let's see the shade. Oh my God, the shade's actually quite large. Why did it not look this big when it was in the store? Okay, that's really cute though. Let's go install this light. Oh, also I forgot to mention one of the biggest reasons why we wanted to change this light. Because this is directly across from the TV, if this is on at night, it reflects into the TV and it's just the worst. So we can actually never have this on at nighttime. Uh, when we're watching TV because it just it's so bright and you can't see anything on the screen So I think like something a little bit more movable and has a shade. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be better I hope as I keep saying <laughs> Also, if anyone ever wants to know how to hang a light properly um, I have a full like full how-to video that lives on my patreon if you ever want to check my patreon out just saying <laughs> Let me turn the light off because it's kind of hard to see. I like I like it. I just don't think it's gonna work there. I think I think it was the wrong decision. But now I'm kind of thinking, what would they look like there? You know? Ooh. You know what though? I think I'm gonna I am gonna leave it there for now. I would like to see what Jeffrey thinks. He's gonna hate it. Jeffrey's gonna hate that light. I just know it. He's gonna be like, why is that there? We tried. Okay, I wanna move on to the next piece. As we know, this is my wall, right? And I've always had this like empty section here. I kind of liked it empty, but I started thinking about what I wanted to put there. I've put a piece of art there and I didn't quite like it. It just felt really bulky. But, but then I got thinking, what if we were to take a piece of wood 
and then basically elongate the shelf, just the top one from this bar to this one. I think it's really just gonna like make this wall feel complete. You know what I mean? And then we can put some like cute decor on it, maybe a plant that trails down. I think this is the right thing to do. I went and bought myself a one by 10 by 12 board and I just need to measure it out to figure out if I need the full 12 feet or if I need to cut it down. And then from there, we'll go cut it, restain it, and we'll put it up and we'll see what it looks like. Are you with me? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm almost through. While we wait for this to dry, I figured let's go paint over the holes and maybe we'll move those lights over. I really wanna see what one of them is gonna look like where that industrial light was. Figured we might as well do it while we're waiting and then we can make a decision. Are we gonna change both those lights out or are we just going to keep everything the same? <laughs> and then I will keep hunting for one sconce to be on that back wall. All right, let's go check it out. These are plug-in. I'm such a dummy, I forgot that these are plug-in. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work, but I wanna see what the, wanna replace this and see what it looks like. I wonder if this is gonna work. Can I put this on here? Okay, wait. Alexa, turn on the living room lights. Okay. That's so cute. Do I have to go buy a second light just to get the shade? Alexa, turn off the living room lights. Okay. Fun fact, there actually is no switch for these lights in this room without Alexa. <laughs> I actually might just buy the second one and then use these for either like a bedroom hack or something in the future. And then I will search for the proper lampshade if I can find one, like either at a Home Depot or a Wayfair, or you know, you're just cruising through a Target or a Walmart and you happen to see the lampshades that are like that, then I'll just pick two up. But if this is better, then I'm down. I am down like a clown here for the rattan party. We're gonna leave that. I think we should be ready to actually put a finish on our shelf and then we'll get our shelf installed. I am so excited. friends. I'm kind of at a standstill at this point. Um, I'm waiting for the board to dry with the first coat of finish. I'm going to have to flip it over, put on another coat on that side, probably give it a light sand in between and then do one more coat. This is just going to make it super durable, super cleanable, which is what we want because uh, she can get a bit dusty in the living room. So I'm going to have to wait and I'll do that tonight off camera. We don't need to see that. I also need to reinstall that wall sconce um, that I took down because <laughs> I guess we didn't solve that problem today. Also tomorrow we're starting a really fun project. It's very conversational. It's really unconventional and I'm so excited. So why don't we just get to tomorrow so we can talk about it. I'll see you then, friends.
morning, DIY friends. Okay, it looks so much better than I actually expected it to. It just feels like it makes this room feel bigger. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but this room feels huge suddenly. And I just had this dream to have like big art pieces up there that were just like cozy and, and like just those beautiful textures and colors. And you're just like, mm, 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 I wanna drink you up. Um, and after this morning, there's no doubt in my mind that I wanna change this light for the little rattan one. This looks so good. I'm just putting a lot of things in my house that make me super happy right now. And I feel like that's what we have to do. Fill our home with things that make us happy. So let's style up this shelf um, cause that's gonna make me super happy. And then we're gonna move on to a project that is completely opposite of this. <laughs> We're gonna be moving into the office, which means anything in the office gets a little bit unconventional and wacky in a great way. Well, a great way in my books. So let's get this all styled up. Let's find some things to put on the shelf and uh, let's see what it can look like in its full glory. I love that for us. <laughs> just finished the shelf. Let me walk you through literally some of my favorite things because this shelf makes me so happy. I love this moment. I think this is great. Adding the little black candle kind of just feels like moody. This guy already is like a full on mood. So I just feel like this little section is just, it's feeling good. It's got its mood. It's got a vibe and I'm here for it. This area is my favorite. I mean, it basically this encompasses like everything in my personality. We have brass details. This I thrifted not too long ago. $3.99, the color, perfect. Like is this color, like literally, does it not match the back door perfectly? I'm obsessed. And then check down here. I actually have a picture of my grandpa, Mr. Swiss Army knife man, and my grandmother who just passed away this last December. Um, I have a picture of them on their wedding day. So it's kind of special to me. So I figured we should just like wrap this beautiful storyline up. Let's, I wanna go and get the replacement for this shade just so that, you know, we can have a happy ending and have matching shades so they don't look so weird. Um, and on top of that, I might try to find a little replacement for this guy here. Hello. All right, let's go do it. Cityscapes askew Stuck inside at noon Out where the stars forget to shine How far you'd fall Were you to call I love it. I think this was such a fun little project. You know what? <laughs> I went online to find some kind of like wicker type lampshades. And let me tell you, there's like nothing out there. And then I found a few on Etsy, but they were like a hundred plus dollars just for the lampshade. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. <laughs> At first I was kind of thinking I'm crazy for going to buy an entire light just to use the lampshade, but now I'm thinking I did the best thing I could have done and got the best deal because I can't find anywhere that's cheaper than buying that whole light right out just for that lampshade. I will keep searching and if I do find something cheaper, I will replace those and return the lights. For the meantime, I'm gonna keep them. But you guys should let me know, do you know some secret out there where you can find kind of like a wicker rattan light lampshade like those uh, that I can use. Cause if it's out there, it's you guys that can find it. Speaking of lights, 
let's go over to the office because there's this like funky light thing that I really want to build and I don't think it's going to take too long but it's going to be really cool I think so let's go over to the office and let's start a new DIY okay friends welcome to the office my goal in this room was to make this a creative oasis for me so in this room i really love to express kind of my truest and deepest joys of my creative side and you know i have lots of shells that express a lot of like who i am and what i love graphic novels and my sci-fi star wars batman anime and then on this side i have my apothecary which was one of my favorite thrift flips honestly but like this space is really where i get to celebrate like kind of like my witch I don't know what to call it like my witchier side but it's also my love of Harry Potter my love of magic kind of some fun little oddity things that I collect when I'm at vintage shops cool books just neat things that create conversation so this room really is kind of like my fun creative I don't know it's just a room to be nerdy in and nerdy of all things so i love being in here it just it's my it's my place to be speaking of nerdy though two things one we have our other little dude dudette here a little birdie and i thought it would go perfect in here because although it's kind of hard to see i normally have this curtain closed but if you can see this fur ball here who is uh, beautifully displaying his love of that chair he actually spends a lot of time in here, especially when I'm in here, um, but he loves to look out this window. So I thought, well, why don't we add the curtain pole on this side, then I can push this curtain off to the side and then he can see out the window. He looks so happy right now. This is awkward. <laughs> oh my goodness. But then I have another thing I wanna add in this space. I am a huge fan of unconventional lighting. And I came up with a fun light that I think is gonna go in this space so well. So let me reframe here and then I will show you what I found. Okay, I'm taking a seat. We gotta sit down for this idea. <laughs> Actually, it feels really good to sit down. Um, okay, we need to talk about this book. Kelly Worser, a really great designer. I love her because I feel like she really pushes boundaries in that kind of unconventional style and way of thinking when it comes to design. So that's why I love her. If you do not own this book, my God, please go get it now. It is great. She has this photo in here of these and these lights here, I am obsessed with them. They're like rope lights but that hang off of this kind of like little sconce, right? So the reason why I love this lighting is because it reminded me of Wonder Woman and like her lasso of truth. <laughs> Those aren't just air bubbles. I was shopping around and then I saw this. This is a really fun rope light. And what I love about this is that it's LED. So you know like those outdoor LED lights that kind of like you can see through them? I didn't like that. But what I like about this one is that it's actually like, just like a pure rope. And I was like, this, this is what I've been waiting for. And then I found this. What if we took this, we make this into a sconce, and then we have the hand hanging on to the lasso of truth, and then we kind of have this like Wonder Woman-esque, unconventional, fun wall sconce light. Yeah? I think we should give it a try. <laughs> Okay, wait, should we see what this looks like when it's plugged in? Okay. <gasps> Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da! Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right, so let's turn this off. Let's leave the excitement. 
we're gonna try to lasso this. I wonder if we could even like turn the hand like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then we'll put this here with some double-sided tape. I'm gonna contain my excitement. Containing excitement. <laughs> gonna go get double-sided tape. This is so bright. This is so amazing. This looks so dope. I'm just, I'm so happy. Please, somebody else do this DIY, please. The joy I feel in this very moment, no one can touch that. Well, DIY friends, we did it. We finished all of these projects in one episode, and honestly, I could not be happier. These are things that I've just been putting off for so long, and I like just checking them off my list feels, it just feels so good. Like I can just like take a deep breath, but honestly, I'm so happy with all the little things we put into this space, the hardware, the cute, cute hardware. Oh my God. I, I have linked them in the description box. If you want to go check those out and have these in your home, because honestly, I just feel like they make your house feel so much more unique, conversational. And honestly, every time I look over at that window, it just brings me so much joy. And then of course we have our big shelf behind here. What a different difference this has made. Honestly, this just, this room just feels bigger. It feels cozier. I love all the decor that went in here, changing out the, the lampshades. It just, these little things make such a big difference. And then our really dope light, our Wonder Woman inspired light that doesn't necessarily need to be Wonder Woman inspired. You could actually just have a hand holding something cool like a light bulb. But if you love this idea and maybe you don't have access to an Ikea near you, I've actually linked all of the items in my description box. Also, I've linked alternative items of places you can find like-minded items if you wanna create something like this really excited. I hope you guys love it. You guys should let me know what was your favorite project. Comment down below. Sending a big thank you to the sponsor of today's episode, Victorinox, the makers of the iconic Swiss Army knife. This was so handy throughout all of my DIY projects that I highly recommend this being a tool that you have on you while you DIY. And if you want to give the gift of adventure to one of your DIY friends or family members, then I have linked both these products in my description box. So go check them out. Of course, sending so much love to my Patreon family. If you are a DIYer out there looking for a community of other DIYers to root you on, give you advice, or just share cool ideas, then my Patreon is definitely the place for you. Go check it out. Everything's linked in my description box. But as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye-bye.